So it's time to talk about the Switch Pro as a rumor, possibly for the last time, because based on a new report, it appears the, this new Switch revision could actually be coming sooner than we originally thought. I mean, we've been talking about the Switch Pro for a long time now, right? But it does appear that the announcement of it is, in their words, imminent. We're going to go over that here today, guys. If you enjoy these videos, make sure that like button helps out a ton. And if new here to the Spawn Wave channel, make sure you subscribe down below. So this was a report from Bloomberg that was put out uh, last night, actually. And I've been kind of watching everything unfold throughout the day. And there were some thoughts that maybe... It could be announced today. Like, just out of nowhere, Nintendo just drops on Twitter, hey, there is a Nintendo Switch revision heading the stores this September or this October, and kind of get the word out ahead of E3. And I've been waiting and waiting and waiting, and nothing's really happened yet, so I figured, hey, our best shot is for me to make a video that Nintendo can then make outdated like an hour after I put the video up, right? It's up to me at this point. So here we are. Let's head over here to Bloomberg first. This was a report from Takashi Machizuki here saying Nintendo plans upgraded Switch replacement as soon as September. Announcement of new Switch could be made ahead of June's E3 and suppliers say Nintendo likely to price new model above $299. They say Nintendo plans to begin assembly of its new Switch as soon as July and release the upgraded replacement for its four-year-old game system in September or October, people familiar with the matter said. Now, if they start doing uh, assembly of this product in July, they most likely would expect or at least anticipate a leak of some kind coming out of the factory, considering it already happened with the Switch Lite. Remember the, the turquoise Switch Lite where that was posted up online and no one really believed it until it was announced that everyone looked back and said, oh, that was actually a picture from the factory of the back uh, of the blue Switch Lite system. They say the new console likely to be priced higher than 299s original may be announced ahead of E3 conference starting June 12th to allow publishers to showcase their full range of Switch games at the global event. The people said asking not to be named because the plans are not yet public. It will be sold alongside the $199 Switch Lite with the standard Switch being phased out over time. And this is pretty interesting because this was a scenario that we had brought up before when we've talked about it, like I said, several times on the Spawncast or just in rumor videos as these reports have continued to come out, that Nintendo could actually phase out the current $299 Switch. We know it is using the Tegra X1, which has gone through modification and updates, and it has changed and altered so far throughout the generation, but clearly NVIDIA continues to advance their fabrication and, and move along, essentially, so Nintendo being tied to NVIDIA would kind of follow along with that, so the idea of there being a new chip inside of this system, and maybe the Switch Lite sees another quiet or silent revision over time, maybe over the next year or so, is very likely, but it's interesting that they would consider phasing out the current Nintendo Switch until you realize that Nintendo's been doing this with their handhelds forever now. I mean, we've seen them obviously phase out things like the original DS when the DS Lite came out. We've seen them phase out the regular 3DS, then the 3DS XL, and then the new 3DS XL, and now we have like the 2DS XL, and that's that was it until they just got rid of that, like they discontinued that. Um, so they have done that quite a bit in the past. It's just going to be interesting to see what happens here when we have, say, a Switch Lite at $199, and then we have this new Nintendo Switch, this Switch Pro, this Super Switch, whatever you want to call it, at $349? $399. I'm thinking it might be $349. Anyway, after this report came out, a lot of talk kind of erupted online. People, of course, giving their opinions and their thoughts on it, but we did have some others kind of back up the claims here that it could be shown ahead of E3. Emily Rogers, for example, was uh, kind of playing around uh, and, and like playfully tweeting back and forth with uh, Nate Direct Feed Games about this. And it does seem that Eurogamer has also backed up the claims made here for uh, Bloomberg and their, and their Switch Pro report saying, I understand this to ensure third parties working on games which support the upgraded Switch are free to announce these projects at E3 and before Nintendo's own digital showcase later in that week, and this is according to Eurogamer's own sources. So they've heard the same thing. And what exactly does that mean, really? Well, it means that there very likely are some games 
that would be shown at E3 that would be for this new Nintendo Switch system. Now, would that be uh, exclusive games for this this Switch? Because think about it, if it's not an exclusive for this new Nintendo Switch or the Switch Pro, they could just present it as a regular Switch title and then announce that it'll see some sort of patch or upgrade you know, later on in the year, right? As we get the announcement and an eventual release for it, oh yeah, that uh, that new third-party game that you are picking up for your Switch now, well, it's going to have a 4K patch and take advantage of uh, the newer system coming out later on this holiday. This tells me that there very well could be a couple of games, we'll say, at E3 that are going to be designed specifically for this, uh, this new Nintendo Switch Pro system. And there has been talks before about a couple of different third-party games, uh, very quietly, kind of in the background, rumors that have kind of spread a bit about a couple of titles and, and different things that maybe didn't work on the current Switch, but do does work on the Switch Pro or this new Nintendo Switch system. So maybe they are thinking, hey, E3 is obviously where we want to at least be able to showcase and market this this uh, this game for this new system, considering there's a lot of excitement and I would say pent up demand even for E3 to come back and showcase all these games and press conferences, right? And if they can't talk about this new Nintendo Switch there, that means they won't really be able to go over the release of their game for the new Nintendo Switch. So the reasoning at least makes sense, right? Like you think about it, you're like, well, yeah, Nintendo would have to announce it on their own terms. And the thought of them be announcing it today was a little weird to me because Nate did point out online that there's going to be like a four day weekend starting tomorrow at Nintendo of America. And obviously they would handle all the PR that would, I'm sure be crazy after this, after this announcement in America, so they would want to have everyone kind of available at that time, but if there's a four-day weekend and the offices are pretty much closed Friday through Monday for Memorial Day, then what do you do? There's not going to be a lot of people there to answer emails or the phones or (laughs) anything there, but there is also a chance that Nintendo just wants to get this information out there soonish so that then they can focus on things like the software and the games that they are ready to announce and talk about at their own E3. This would be a a pretty good pre-E3 announcement, which we've seen from a lot of companies so far. We just had the Sonic Central live stream today. We're seeing the Horizon Forbidden West live stream. Uh, We talked about, obviously, uh, the Dragon Quest live stream that just took place. So a lot of games are getting thrown out there right now. So why not a new system? And I would say a launch in September or October. It makes sense, really. I mean, they launched the Switch Lite in September. So sure, this new Nintendo Switch. And I guess that a regular Switch would slowly get phased out, even maybe being discontinued as soon as this fiscal year, as they slot in this new $349 uh, Super Switch or Nintendo Switch Pro, or again, whatever we want to call it here. Um, And I'm curious if the $50 upcharge would turn people off of the Switch? I don't think it would, though, because at $349, it's still technically cheaper than the PS5 or the Xbox Series X. Not so much the Series S, but there is the added functionality, of course, of it also being a portable system. And at that time, we would expect it to also be 4K, and that's all people really need to see is 4K on the outside of the box. If Nintendo markets this correctly, there's going to be people who will have a harder time kind of figuring out what the difference is between the Switch Pro and the PS5. And like, it sounds weird to say that, but that's just kind of how the mainstream can be when they walk into a store and look around. As for its announcement, I'm kind of expecting it to be announced next week if this is all correct and everything. We're just kind of waiting for Nintendo to hit the send tweet button. Maybe Tuesday or Wednesday after Nintendo of America is back in office and ready to go for, I'm sure, the PR storm that would take place after announcing a Switch Pro, but let me know what you guys think about this whole thing down below. The idea of a Switch Pro coming out at a higher price and slotting in to replace the current Nintendo Switch. Thanks guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.